Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the income and substitution effect of a change in the price of x in a diagram. So let's start with the, with the initial utility maximizing position, and that's the position in which the indifference curve is just tangent to the budget line. And at that point you're consuming x1, y1. Now let's say the price of x increases. If the price of x increases, the first thing we need to do is to draw a new budget line, which is closer to the origin along the horizontal axis, because now you have less money available to buy all x if you only bought, bought x. So clearly the original indifference curve is not affordable to you anymore, so you're going to have to switch to an indifference curve that is actually closer to the origin. So that will be u2, and that indifference curve has a consumption of x which is lower than before. That makes sense because the price of x goes up and um, you know the demand curve is downward sloping so a higher price means lower consumption. And that also tells you how much is going to be the total effect of the increase in price. It's called the xt. It's going to be the difference between the consumption of x before and after. So it's going to be x2 minus x1 and it's going to be negative because the price of x went down, went up. So the total effect is the total change in the consumption of x when the price of x changes. Now we know that that change in consumption is made of two things, an income effect and a substitution effect. And the way we're going to separate those, those, those effects is simply by compensating the consumer for the income that the consumer lost, for the purchasing power. So we say we do the following. We, you know, we put the hypothetical scenario. What if we gave, what if we gave the consumer back the income that he lost enough to bring him back to the original utility curve. So basically what we're doing is we're going to shift the, the new budget line out with the same slope to the original utility curve, and we're going to stop doing that when they're just tangent to each other, which is just right there. All right? So let's get rid of this one, and let's get rid of this one, and let's mark when we end up. So the new utility maximizing situation, if we gave the, the consumer back the income uh, to bring it back to the original utility curve, we'll have the consumer consuming x3 and then y1. So what happened here? Well, even after we give the consumer back the income he lost because of the increase in the price of x, the consumer will still choose to consume less x. So since we already gave the consumer back the income, that change has to be the substitution effect. So the difference between x3, I'm going to call that xs, the difference between x3 minus x1 is in fact that substitution effect, which is negative because the consumer is actually not, even if the consumer had the same income, he will still choose to replace some consumption of x for y because he's not, he will get better utility per dollar on that change since the price of x is actually higher. Now, since the total effect is made out of the income effect, if we bring the consumer back to x2, that will be the income effect. So the income effect is the leftover, right? So the income effect will be the difference between x2 minus x3. And again, it's also negative in this case, although it's not always going to be negative because it could be inferior. We'll, we'll talk about that more in a, in a different video. Okay, so here's how, this is how we found the income and substitution effect in a diagram. You basically bring back the consumer to the original utility curve with the same, uh, with the same slope of the new budget line. So to practice, what you could do is to try to do the same thing, find the income and substitution effect of a price change, but instead of being for an increase in the price of X, try to find it for a decrease in the price of X, okay? I'm gonna, in the next video, I'm going to do a little example with numbers to make, uh, to make this idea a little more clear.